All right, hey guys. Uh, so I wanted to uh, create a, a better sphere uh, real quick to kind of show off um, how to get something a little bit rounder as uh, uh, Spicy Pepperoni um, was asking about in the comments on the new video. <clears throat> so I'm just going to run through how to do it in Maya. Um, it's, a, it's a similar process if you're using like Blender or something like that. Um, so yeah, just go up to polygons. Um, there's two different methods of doing it. You can either create your sphere, which is like an actual sphere, or um, another method of doing it is using a cube. I think you just smooth it a couple of times. If you want to control the, uh, the poly count a little more, but it's not as round. Um, so if you want like a perfectly round object, I I'd recommend going with the sphere. So in terms of scaling, I uh, what I usually do is import the character and look at it and see what the scaling would be. But because we're scaling this up anyways, uh, I figure it's not that big a deal. So I like to modify for each transformations, edit, delete, we'll type history. I'll add a new material. I'm sorry if I went fast here. Right, hold right click, go to new material, and then I'll pick a Lambert. Give this guy a name of planet underscore mat. Um, and let's give our object a name too. Planet mesh, and then we'll go to modify, freeze, edit, deletable type history, and then with it selected, you can go file. Oh, nice thing. We gotta check the uh, these on it. Um, so we'll go over to the attribute editor. Just want to make sure the UVs are good. So attribute editor, select your material. Uh, over color, select the checker here, and just select checker. And we'll click this guy up here. We'll see that the, the texture looks pretty good. We can mess with the uh, scaling of it to check it even better. You hit this little black arrow over here, place 2D texture, and then we can tile this a little bit more so we can see it. And yeah, I mean, it, it still comes to a point uh, at the top and bottom. Um, but I mean, it'll work if you want to do a little bit different where it wraps. You can actually go with the curve so it's square uh, a little bit better. Um, and this is why I like using the cube and just sphering, sphering it out because when you smooth this, up uh, existing material you kind of get these flat edges and when you get these flat edges you can then in turn um, get a better material on them essentially so uh, what we can do here is actually just go through and select let me turn this off so I can see better. Select around here. Um, and select kind of all these pieces. I'm not too concerned with it being perfectly round. Um, but I'll showcase both of them. To kind of show what you can do with it. All right, so once you get all your edges selected, you want to go up here, where are you, where are you? Uh, separate the UVs along selected edges. So now that we've done that, um, we can go into UV mode, select a few, hold control and left click, and then two shell, and we can move them around. And let's see. That'll kind of create the curvedness. So if we 
look at that, you can still see the edges. Um, so you can actually, it's kind of cool. I'm going to undo this real quick. And I'm just going to grab all these guys. Unfold just this one. This guy up. Unfold him. 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 G. Oh, no, it doesn't work. Shit. Come on, why aren't you working right? Oh, that's frustrating. Now it's the same kind of thing over and over again. Um, and just see it a little better. 10, 10. See, there's no UV stretching anymore. Um, that works <clears throat> for getting the same like texture. If you if you want to like tile the same texture over and over again. Um, and you can also copy to new UV set on a Ooh, don't want to do that. Okay, maybe not. Layout. Oh, interesting. Next guy, have me do this. Sometimes Maya just gets all finicky on me. <laughs> it just does not seem to want to work for me, does it? Settings here. There we go. Okay, um, and now you can have one UV set that goes over the top of everything. Layers everything, I guess you could say. Um, and then another UV set for the light maps and stuff like that, so it's all separated. That's one way you could do it. So I'll bring both of them into the engine so we can see this. So with it selected, file, export selection, I'm just going to drop this right in my desktop. Um, sphere 1. Then you want FBX export. Uh, smoothing groups checked. Smooth mesh checked. And then because I have a texture or a material that I want to bring in, I'll just embed, embed media. Export. And you'll get this little message because of the checker texture. Don't even worry about it. Um, so now I'll delete that. And we'll do a regular sphere real quick. And let's move it once just for just for good measure. And that'll work for now, I guess. Um use deliable type history file export selection. Then we'll just do sphere two. Port close. Then we'll open the engine. Content browser, and let's go into Planet BP, and we'll import them here because this is kind of where the planet stuff is. Um, uh, all right, select your spheres. Oh. Um, import 
materials and textures. Uh, no textures, just the material. So it's already kind of there. Import all. Save all. Now we'll open up our planet BP here. Now we got this selected. So we can go into Contact Browser, select one of our spheres. Bam. And it could have been smoothed a little bit more. You see, you got these like flatter edges here. Um, and just to check the textures, add like a. Uh, uh, they have a moss, don't they? So, yeah. See, so that's not too bad. Uh, I like this better because it doesn't have those uh, like curve curly points. But if I set this just for you too, you'll see it all comes to a point up here. I just don't like how the UVs are with those spheres because the, the edge flow isn't very good. Um, and the size, the scaling is a little bit off. Hold on a second. Okay, and then the Okay, so you see so that's a different size. So what we can do now actually is the material sphere is the one I used before. I'll just go to asset actions, uh, export. I export it to the desktop real quick. Open my back up. Uh, import, import. Uh, desktop, and we want the material sphere. Now we've got this guy, so we can move and import our sphere, sphere one. See the size difference here. Now we could just move this back over and just try and scale these up together. No size difference, and actually. And, you know, you can try that if you want to. Um, but, I mean, a, a planet, uh, the planet's going to be so large uh, if you're doing, like, real-sized planets uh, that you won't really notice the flat edges. That's kind of why I did the material sphere here. Um, but, I mean, if you don't want to, want to do something like this, go for it. I'm actually going to do that smoothing that I did. I don't want that many pellets on it. And then what you can do is just export right over the same one. Yes. And when you open this up, re-import material sphere. Or here, sphere one, I mean. Now. Very interesting. I'm not sure why that's happening.
wonder if it's because of the... Oh, you know what? It's because of the collision. I betcha. I betcha, betcha, betcha. Let's go to the mash here. And check the collision. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Okay, so remove collision. And you want to... Use complex collision as simple, I think. Okay, and we're still going to be kind of running in a sphere here. Uh, it's because it's not a perfect sphere. So, honestly, you might be better off with just using... Um, I mean, you can use a perfect sphere if you want to. And you just got to make sure you open up the uh, collision of it. And, I mean, you can either do it like like I do remove collision or you could do auto convex or you could do um a sphere simplified collision that should work too because it's right around it um and i mean it works but it just doesn't doesn't look as good and see the collision is still kind of messed up but if you used Sphere. Having it, having it this size. Yeah, but about. Try this. Uh, yeah, it keeps doing it, doesn't it? Because it's a sphere. Um. Just maybe we construction. Okay, well, I'll uh, end this. This video is way longer than I meant it to be. Um, but yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much how you how you do do Unreal Engine. Um, if you want to create your sphere, do it that way. Go ahead. Um, just make sure you create those multiple UV sets uh, that aren't stacked on top of one another. Um, Alright, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.